There is a ton of equipment out there that can allow you to make your streams more efficient and more creative. But there's one piece of equipment that I've always been interested to check out and I finally got my hands on one. Now it's likely that if you've been watching streams or streaming yourself for a while that you've seen this really cool piece of equipment called the Toby Eye Tracker. My name is Preacher, welcome back to the Streamloots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Streamloots with the goal of helping you every step of the way. In this video, we're going to go over what the Toby Eye Tracker is, how to set it up, and most importantly, how to use it to create fun and entertaining content for your channel. If you're already using the Toby Eye Tracker, we'd love for you to drop into the comment section below and let us know how you've been using it, and if you haven't been using it, We'd love to know any questions that we don't cover in this video down in the comment section as well. Before we get into the Toby Eye Tracker, I want to remind you that if you're a streamer looking to boost your interaction with your community and boost your revenue, make sure to check out Streamloots at Streamloots.com. Click the banner up above. And as usual, if you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's unbox this thing. So the box is really nice. You're going to see the front of it there. That's what it looks like. And then on the back, they're going to give you some of the specs. Uh, basically how you can use this with your stream, how you can use this within your game, and then a lot of the different things that you're going to see uh, on the actual eye tracker itself. The packaging is really nice. Uh, inside the box, you're going to have the Toby eye tracker, the USB extension cable, two magnetic flat mounts, warranty and safety documentation, flex mount, and how to get started. The device has really nice protection over the uh, illuminators, which are on either side, as well as the Hello sensor and the eye sensor, which are in the middle here. All right, fully unboxed. This is the Toby Eye Tracker. It's a lightweight aluminum, so it's actually really sturdy. It has a nice weight to it. It's a sleek design, and it is USB 2.0 for both the signal and the power for the device. Along with the eye tracker itself, there's a few other things they give you to help with the setup. USB extension cable, two adhesive magnetic strips, and a clamp for the eye tracker to help with the mounting setup. For instructions on how to mount the Toby Eye Tracker to your laptop or your monitor, you can look at the packaging inside and they give you very clear instructions on how to do that. Essentially, the mounted eye tracker is going to go underneath the main display of whatever you're using. Now that we've gotten everything out of the box, let's plug this in, get it mounted, and check out the integrated software. Once you plug in the eye tracker, it's going to pop up a tutorial experience for you, and you can work through this as it makes sense for you. And once we've done that, it's going to start to calibrate the device. To calibrate the eye tracker, we're going to actually have to line up the lines that are on the device itself with the lines on the computer monitor to appropriately calibrate the device. And now I'm looking at my monitor and where these lines are, and that's pretty close right there. All right, once you've done that, we can click done. All right, now it's going to calibrate for our eyes. Let's look at each dot until it explodes. So now I'm just focusing on each of the different dots that are on the screen, and each time that I focus on one of them, it exploded. All right, calibration is successful. Welcome. And now this is actually tracking my eye movement right now. So this is an overlay on your monitor that follows where you're looking at on the screen. Pretty cool. What's really cool about the eye tracker is there's actually a sensor for your eyes. So when I look left to right without moving my head, you'll notice that it still tracks my eye movement, but it also tracks the movement of my head as well, depending on where I'm looking. To give you an idea of how this might interact with a third person adventure game like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, when you find precious loot, pick the objects you want to pick up by looking at it. That's pretty cool. You can also control the in-game camera for a greater sense of view and make the environment reactive by adjusting the lighting in accordance with your eyes rather than where the in-game camera is pointing. Now every game offers different features that connect with the Toby Eye Tracker so definitely take time to look through each game and see how it interacts. Another really cool integration with the Toby Eye Tracker is something called Toby Ghost and this is the extension and integration if you are a streamer. This allows your viewers to see more of what you're paying attention to while you're gaming and offer a really cool unique experience. What's more is there's actually a Twitch extension that allows your viewers to interact and change what it is that they see with the Toby Eye Tracker overlay. To add Toby Ghost, you simply go to download here. Toby will bring you to their website and it'll start an automatic download here. Once it's downloaded, open it up. Once you open up the download, you're going to be given two different options in the settings of how you want to use Toby Ghost. You can either add it as a Twitch extension or you can simply embed it within your streaming software. To give you an idea of what the overlay is going to look like before you add it into your software, you can adjust the settings here, such as shape and size, and then click preview to see what it's going to look like. We'll adjust the color. Uh, let's go to uh, red here. And we can make this a bubble. We'll adjust the size. 
pretty cool. Adding this to your streaming software is extremely simple. We're going to go to the sources. We'll click the plus sign to add a source. We're going to add game capture. We're going to name it whatever we like. I'm going to name mine Toby. Click OK and then we're going to select the mode. We're going to choose capture specific window. We're going to select the overlay window right here. And then we're going to allow for transparency so that we don't see anything other than the eye tracker overlay itself. The nice thing about this is that it can actually be hotkeyed so you can turn it on and off very simply. If you are a Twitch streamer and you want to add this as an extension, simply click connect back in the settings and then connect this with your account. If you've done this correctly, it'll say that the ghost Twitch extension is connected to your username. Then in the Twitch creator dashboard, you're going to go to extensions here and you're going to look for Toby and you're going to see the Toby ghost eye tracking in order to install that click there. Once you've installed the overlay, you're going to go to my extensions and then you're going to find the Toby eye tracker here and then you're going to set it as overlay one and that's it. Now your viewers will have control over how the overlay looks to them and they'll be able to toggle it on or off. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the setup of the eye tracker. It's really easy. The question remains, what are the uses for something like this when it comes to content creation? This is really up to you, but one of the things that I see benefiting my viewers with something like this is that it gives my viewers a window into what I'm seeing and how I'm reading what's happening in a game. Viewers will sometimes wonder what it is that you're thinking about or what you're doing, and this is a great way to give that to them visually. Another great use for this is for those of you who would consider yourself a skilled or competitive player within different games. Games anywhere from League of Legends to a fighting game to Tetris. The Toby Eye Tracker can be a great tool for you to teach your viewers what it is that you're doing and why. Another really cool use is because you're going to be looking at specific things within the games that you're playing and the viewers are going to be able to see that, you might be able to create some really fun creative challenges with your viewers. Challenges like if you look at something specific within the game, you're going to have to do, I don't know, 20 push-ups. Hmm, I wonder if Streamlets would ever do anything like that with one of their collections. At the end of the day, a tool like this creates a lot of really cool opportunities for you to make your content more engaging and unique. So, I highly recommend checking out the Toby Eye Tracker. We hope this information was useful to you, and we'd love to know from you in the comment section below, is this something that you'd consider using in your content? Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you want to start earning more and creating more engagements with your community, Make sure to sign up for a free account with Streamloots at streamloots.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.